Hey everyone, welcome to a quick video. This one's going to be on how to use the Super Metroid Launcher. This will allow you to play the Super Nintendo uh, game Super Metroid. Uh, if you have a, uh, you know, a legitimate uh, backed up ROM or, you know, however you have one, it just needs to be a specific one. So if you guys are interested in giving this a shot, go ahead and open up your browser. And we're just going to put in the search window, just type in Super Metroid. And then type Launcher. And you should see this uh, website right here. So this is the correct one. So we're going to click on that. And then we're going to go ahead and download this file right here. So the Super Metroid Launcher, we're going to click on that and we're going to save that file. Once that file is saved, you can go ahead and close that because everything else we need is going to already be on, uh, you know, in that program besides the actual ROM itself. So the ROM you're going to need, uh, they state that it's the uh, the U.S. ROM, but I did find out it works with the U.S. Uh, uh, Japanese ROM. So if you, you know, you have one and it doesn't work, just, you know, try and get your hands on another one. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this uh, started here. So once you have your uh, files downloaded, just go ahead and uh, take your, you know, the zip file. Go ahead and extract that. So you'll have that in the folder. Once you've extracted the uh, zip file, just go ahead and delete the zip file. And this is the ROM that uh, worked for me. So that's the one you will either need to have or find. And then what we're gonna do, you, you notice there's a folder here already called shaders, but we're gonna uh, get you guys to download that through the program. So go ahead and launch the program. Go ahead and click on run. You're gonna be uh, shown this window here. Just go ahead and click on download. It will download the uh, files it needs from the repositories. Once that is done, we are going to go ahead and click open. And we're gonna tell it to look for the folder that has the uh, game inside. And there's the ROM. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna build everything it needs. Once it's done, you're gonna see the settings button and the launch Super Metroid button show up on here. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and click on settings. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick borderless full screen. I'm also gonna set this to 1920 by 1080 so the video shows up correctly. And then on here, you have the option of doing SDL, uh, SDL software or OpenGL. I just left it at the default. Now this part here is the one we're gonna click on next. So go ahead and click on Suggested Shaders. It's gonna take you to this website here. And then we're gonna click on the code button here and download the zip file. Once you've downloaded that and have it you know, on your computer, you can go ahead and close the browser. So just go ahead and extract that and put it in the same folder that has the Super Metroid Launcher. Make a folder with shaders and just uh, you know, paste those inside. And you're gonna have you know, something that looks like this once you have them all extracted. Now, keep in mind, all of these will not work with this program, but, uh, you know, a real good amount of them will. So once again, we'll go on there and go ahead and click back on this. So go ahead and now you can click on use GL shader, point to that spot where the files are at. All right, so now the next step we're going to do is click on this spot right here. And we're going to go to the shader folder and we're going to pick one of the ones we want here. The one I'm going to be showing you is... Uh, this one right here, the V or XBRZ, and I chose 6X, and you can go ahead and pick that. Once you've chosen the one you want, you will see the, uh, you know, the path file over here at the bottom. Once you have that, you're really good to go. Now, like I said, you have the options here. You can do stereo, enable audio, auto save. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, choose the sound frequency. I'm going to go ahead and set that at 48. And like I said, all the other settings here, I am going to go ahead and stretch it so it comes out full screen. And for a little bit more uh, smoothness, you can go ahead and click the uh, linear filtering here. And we're gonna go ahead and click save so it remembers the settings. We'll go ahead and launch this, make sure it is working. There we are, and as you can see, it is running real nice, and nice and smoothed out. Now, just a heads up, this will work with the uh, reshade filter. So if you guys are interested in using the reshade filter with this, that program will also run with this. 
So that is it for this one. Like I said, super quick uh, video on how to get that started. If you guys make use of the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys on the next video. Have a good one.